EPH 20 uh, involves obtaining 20 or about five grains of finely ground um, nitrocellulose. And you can't just use regular gunpowder. Um, but I found out actually you can. Uh, what I did was I found this uh, coffee filter uh, from the middle of a coffee pot. It's really intended to brew uh, hot or make tea. It's the uh, filter that goes in the middle of uh, a, uh, a coffee pot. Anyway, I noticed that, uh, this was about to be thrown away and I nabbed it. Um, and it, it has a very, very fine mesh. And, uh, the idea being to obtain the smaller flakes out of here, I call this the, uh, cereal box filter, uh, method. You know, the, the flakes at the bottom of the cereal box are always very, very small. So what we want actually is probably in the bottom of this, um, uh, canister. So what I did was, uh, you, I guess you could turn it upside down and tap this and try to make the finer particles uh, filter themselves to the bottom of into the cap here. Um, but I just went ahead and did the whole bottle. And the idea being is to pour several grains of uh, uh, your particular powder and I just shake it like a salt shaker and you can see hopefully that the finer finer particles are uh, separating themselves out and then I just used a business card on this clean surface and I'm able to obtain very very fine powder uh, you may have seen, uh, observed my other video on grinding down a ping pong ball. If I have time, I'll uh, grind down another ping pong ball and do the same filter method. And see if I can't get some finely ground nitrocellulose that way. Uh, Marshall's told me that, um, uh, let's see, ground... Um, uh, guitar picks are made out of uh, nitrocellulose and what is it uh, reel to reel film if you can get a hold of the old reel to reel film that may work uh, and I haven't asked the chemist either about um, using uh, old VCR tapes I have a ton of those uh, around if I can find a way to particleize those flakes, I might be able to do the same thing there, but I don't know what that film is made out of. Anyway, try that. Oh, I was able to get uh, 7.1 grains, was it? <clears throat> yeah, 7, <clears throat> 7 7.1 grains out of tight group. But I noticed that the powders that are more ran <clears throat> excuse me, random in shape, <clears throat> such as uh, red dot and blue dot, those aren't pellets looking like a, a, um, a tight group. If you use the random shaped flakes that are truly uh, uh, more particleized, um, I was able to obtain 10.6 grains of red dot dust and only 7.1 grams at a tight group but anyway i didn't i didn't have time to do a real good job and this of course isn't repeatable but i didn't expect to get any more um, flakes out of here but yet uh, i do see a quite a few coming out that way but anyway we're I'm gonna call this the cereal box filter
but the ones I'm really interested in are at the bottom of this. This is Mark with Aardvark Reloading. Dot com.